Evet sevgili seyirciler, Los Angeles'ta Jermaine Jackson'la evinde buluştuk. Hi Jermaine Jackson, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. First of all, I want I want to thank you for this appointment. And in your busy schedule, you create time for us. Thank you. Really. You were all very young when you got famous. You, know? you were famous. How was your relation between brothers? We were always close. We're, just, we're still close when there's a lot of brothers. My relationship with them is always close. We've, uh, we've done everything together. We've had softball teams. We've been on stage since we were very young. This year is our 50th anniversary. 50th. Yeah, for being in business because we started so young. And um, we, um, we've been on stage for so long, we know. Yeah. Without even opening our eyes, we can close our eyes and know where everybody's supposed to be. But we have a very good relationship and we love each other very much. To be a band, it's not so easy, I know that. To be a brother and to be a band, does it differ something? Well, it's probably easier to be in a band with brothers because we know that if Jackie does something well, it's gonna benefit the rest of us. If Michael used to do something great, it's gonna benefit everyone. So we're all for one and one for all. Uh, and that's the e easy part. And if we get upset at each other, we can get upset at each other because we know an hour later, we're gonna blow it all over because we're brothers. Yes, it's then, then you are lucky. Yeah. Very yeah. fortunate, thank God. Okay. What was your unforgettable moments of your life? Good and bad at the same time. Well, the unforgettable moments, good, was just... There were so many, but I'll name one. When we had four number one records in a row, we knocked the Beatles out of number one spot uh, with a song called ABC. Just... And that was just an incredible moment, and also doing um, the Victory Tour in 1984. We did a tour called the Victory Tour and we still hold the record for our stadiums sold out consecutively in a row. And some of the very sad, unforgettable moments is losing my brother, yeah. Michael. It's something that we will never get over. We just have to learn. But believe me, it was for us also the same. Yeah, we... We, um, we feel like him leaving, he, he took a part of us with him, and it's just very, very tough. So we find it healing by playing the music on stage. So we, uh, yeah. so we play the music, we feel good and, and everything, but there's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't mention Michael's name or call him. And uh, he's left a lot of fans around the world, and uh, we are really, really excited to just keep the music going, keep the legacy going, yeah. and that's what he would want us to do. We have a tremendous following in, in Turkey, by the way, too. There's a, and, um, a young lady named um, 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 Handy Kurt. Uh, she's uh, part of the fan club that we have there in Turkey, so I'm just this, saying I, I, did, I, don't, I didn't knew that. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Handy Kurt. And, She's always brought a group of people by the hotels where we are. They're part of the fan club, so I'm looking forward to seeing them and I'm saying hi to them as well. Yeah. Okay, and uh, when you come again? I, I want to come soon because I love the... Um, I, I'm a Muslim and I, I, I love the mosque, the most beautiful mosque in the world in Turkey. And I love the food, I love the people, I love to go to the bazaar and shop and, and, and things like that. So I, Turkey's one of the most beautiful places I've been to. It's beautiful. That's, that's, that's beautiful to hear that, you know? No, really, yeah, it's no. beautiful, beautiful. I'm proud to be, that, to be Turkish now. Yeah. When you say this, you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice it's country. It's a beautiful it's, it's, city. Yeah, Istanbul is a nice city yeah. also. It's beautiful. Then, uh, what is your life philosophy? My life philosophy is um, be a good human being. And that's the best answer. Yeah. yeah, and God <laughs> has given us all a certain time on this earth and we have to do live our life according to God's will and we have to do the right things. And, 
and the clock is ticking and he's watching. And, and when that day comes, all we leave behind is our good deeds and what we've done for others. And so I try to be the best friend, the best father, the best brother, the best uncle, the best son to my parents. And that's all we can do because at the end of the day, we're going to be judged. And um, that's my philosophy. You do unto others as you would have them to do unto you, mm -hmm. pretty much. Do you go to mosque? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you pray each day? I pray, yes. And I fast. And I'm going to, um, I converted in 1989 in Saudi Arabia. What, what was the, 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 the... That made me? Yeah. Well, I was in the Middle East and I was, what made me convert to Islam was being around children in Bahrain. And a friend of mine named Ali Gamber, he was, he invited me over and I was around all these children and they were so kind and so sweet and they were asking questions about the family and everything. And I said, are they all Muslims? And he said, yes. And, and, and so you see the pureness in children and when it's, and Islam today is getting such a bad rap, but, but it's because of the uh, media yeah. and, and extremists and stuff. But these children were so incredible, and they were beautiful, and they were kind. And so I drove from Bahrain to Riyadh, and I flew from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, to, to Jeddah, and I converted. And, and um, my life, I felt, become full. Yeah. Because we grew up as Jehovah's Witnesses, we grew up as Christians and Baptists and this and this and that. And I've had a lot of quite questions. I've always been just a good human being for my family and for my parents and, and, and things like that. But Islam has made me strong. It has made me aware of just things that around the world and what makes the world and what makes it go. If you feel like that, it's so happy to, uh, yes. to, to be like that, you know. Yeah, what about your other brothers also, that, what they think about that? Well, they, they, um, they're not Muslims, but they, they understand mm -hmm. Islam.